Hi, today we are going to talk about the setting of the safety stock with reference to service level and inventory optimization and how does the desired service level determine the safety stock in a business. To understand the relationship between safety stock and service level, first we will define the both terms and then their relationships through a practical example and calculation. So let's first define the service level. In inventory management, service level is the expected probability of being able to satisfy all possible inventory requirements within a particular period of time. For example, if the organization set a service level target of 99%, this means the safety stock levels will cover for 99% of all probable requests. In other words, we can give our customers what they want, when they want it, 99% of the time. After defining the service level, let's now define safety stock. It is an extra quantity of an inventory which is stored in the warehouse to prevent an out-of-stock situation. Basically it serves as insurance against fluctuations in demand and supply. Now let's find out the relationship between these two by the using the safety stock formula. Safety stock equals Z multiply sum of LT multiply D. Z refers to the desired service level. Sum of LT refers to the standard deviation and lead time. And D is the average demand. We can determine safety stock by multiplying the three figures after calculating. Leads time standard deviation. Average demand and. Service level. Now let's define and explain each of these variables in the formula. The first variable in the formula is leads time standard deviation, as we know lead time is the time it takes to start and complete an order process. When calculating safety stock, lead time refers to the time it takes to order and restock inventory, and standard deviation in lead time is the average time it takes to restock after considering the variability of actual time to receive orders. For example, if we place four orders in a period with an expected restocking time of 15 days and actual restocking times of 20 days, 10 days, 15 days and 20 days, then its time variances are 20 minus 15 equals 5, 10 minus 15 equals minus 5, 15 minus 15 equals 0, and 20 minus 15 equals 5. Using the variance set of data from the example, we can calculate the lead time standard deviation by adding the variance values. 5 plus, minus 5, plus 0 plus 5 equals 5. Then we would divide the sum by the number of values in the data set to get the average. 5 divided by 4 equals 1.25. Finally, it can add the resulting number to the estimated restocking time of 15 days to get 16.25 as the standard deviation of its lead time. 15 plus 1.25 equals 16.25. 16.25 days is how long the safety stock has to cover until the new stock arrives. Let's now calculate the service level by using the normal distribution chart. For example by setting the service level at 90% translates to factor 1.28, 95% to 1.64 and 75% to 0.67. You can check the normal distribution chart, in next slide. Keep in mind, several other factors like extra inventory, customer satisfaction levels and risks involved also affect service level. This is a normal distribution chart which has the calculations showing the service factors corresponding to service levels, which helps to find the values of Z at different service levels. After calculating service factor and lead time standard deviation, using our data, now let's calculate the safety stock at a particular service level where the lead time deviation is 16.25 days, and average demand is 100 units per day. Safety stock at 90% service level translates to 1.28, by using the normal distribution chart. Safety stock equals Z multiply sum of LT multiply D. Z refers to the desired service level factor. Sum of LT refers to the standard deviation in lead time. D is the average demand. 
Now we can calculate the safety stock at 90% service level equals 1.28 multiply 16.25 multiply 100 equals 2080 units. It means that by having 2028 units as safety stock, there is 90% probability that we can satisfy star customers' orders. This was a brief presentation of relationship between safety stock and service level. If you have any question, Please let me know.